We've got an accessory block for your upper body, mainly working on scapular or shoulder girdle stability and your pushing muscles. So we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do is hand release push-up. So it's like a regular push-up, do it on the ground or do this elevated with your hands on a bench if you can't do push-ups on the ground. Um, so to engage a little more shoulder mobility, we're gonna release your hands, pinch them, pin your shoulder blades back and then push up, release and push up. All right, you're gonna give me 10 of those. They're, we're gonna roll into, uh, excuse the pun, I didn't even plan that. We're gonna roll into a stability ball walkout. So you're gonna roll forward, walk out as far as you can, stabilize, and then walk back. Now, your job is to manage how does your back feel doing this. There should be zero pressure in your back. Pressure precedes pain which precedes injury. So if you walk out and you're feeling like your back is sagging at your knees, reposition, that's probably a, your range of motion. And then walk it back. Stay tall with your shoulder blades so you're not sagging here. Stay up and walk it out as far as you can. Walk it back with control, five of those. As soon as you're done, you're gonna do frog jumps. With my hip mobility, I need to have my hands elevated. If you can do this from the floor, do it from the floor. But you're gonna start in a push-up position, and then we're just gonna jump forward into a deep squat, basically. And for me, keeping my hands forward here and using a platform to elevate is just healthier for my hips to get into this position which helps promote your ability to do Olympic lifts and dropping into a squat powerfully. That is your accessory block for today.